This is the Lloyds of London building. It's an insurance trading building in the city of London. The building was designed by Richard Rogers in 1986 and at the time it was a very sort of iconic and out there building design. One of the important parts of the brief was that large open spaces be provided for the traders to carry out their work. And the way that the architect uh, responded to this brief was by moving all the building surfaces to the edge, to the perimeter of the floor plate, so to the external elevation, which freed up the internal spaces. So it's a really clever interior design. So you've cleared everything out from the in inside, but you've obviously got quite a, uh, in my view, ugly outside of the building. So there's all these bits and pieces. They are generally stainless steel again, so they're trying to be low maintenance to clean and they'll last a long time. The result of it is you've got a very iconic looking building that acts as a, an advert for the brand of, of Lloyd's Reinsurance of London. So it works in, in sort of several ways. The Swiss Re building is a similar business, so Swiss Reinsurance, and they're competing with Lloyd's Reinsurance. So their building had to look even more iconic than this one. But at the time, everyone knew it. Lloyd's of London as a, an amazing building that had its own kind of image and people knew where it was. Another thing about the building is quite an early example of some passive design features, which is interesting environmentally. So look, the main building structure is concrete, which has been left exposed. Um, you can see various examples of this behind me on the elevation. And this has the effect of uh, providing a high thermal mass, which should help to regulate internal temperatures and reduce overheating. You have got these sort of facades here. You can't see them very well, probably, but they are, I think it's actually perforated stainless steel. So it's keeping the daylight out using stainless steel as the shading device. It has another effect of uh, keeping out electromagnetic radiation. Mm. So it acts as a Faraday cage, so you can't <laughs> pick up uh, Wi-Fi probably from the other side of it. Have a look, see what you think. Yeah.